Hi everybody, we are here to announce the general availability of yet another security feature, Azure Active Directory Authentication. If you are an Azure user, then you are already familiar with managed identities. It basically eliminates the need for credential management when working with Azure services. For Azure AD to work, you first need to add a user managed identity to the flexible server. If you want to learn more about UMI, please check out my previous video that I did on customer managed key. Once the UMI is assigned, uh, the MSRP, that's the managed identity resource provider, issues a certificate to the UMI. Using this certificate and client ID, your application can request for a token from Azure AD. Azure AD now returns the JSON web token, which your application sends to the flexible server for authentication. Post successful validation, your application is now able to log into the server and can access the database. All right, let's do a demo. First, let's go ahead and create a user assigned managed identity. Select the subscription, select the resource group, select the region and provide a name. Click on next. Once the validation is successful, you click on create. So the deployment is successful. Now let's head to MySQL flexible server. Under the security pane, you would find your authentication tab. Currently MySQL flexible server supports three modes. One is MySQL authentication only, which is a native MySQL authentication where you have to enter your username and password. The second option is Azure Active Directory Authentication only, where the native MySQL authentication gets disabled. The third option that we provide is MySQL and Azure Active Directory Authentication, where it supports both native MySQL authentication, where you can enter your username and password, and also it accepts the Azure AD account that you have to log in. In this demo, I'm gonna go ahead with Azure Active Directory Authentication only. Now I get this pop-up where I am able to choose the identities. I'm going to go ahead with the one. I click on select to add the Azure ID admin. I'm going to add myself as the admin. Click on select, click on save. So Azure Active Directory Authentication has been enabled on the server. Since I've selected the second option, which is Azure AD Authentication only, once I come to the server parameters, I can find that Azure AD authorly has been enabled. Now let's try connecting to the server. So let me show you, right? So here you can see that the password that has been passed on is actually the access token. Hope you found the demo useful. So to summarize, the key benefits that Azure AD authentication brings in are A, support of token-based authentication. B, Azure AD authentication happens at the database level. C, management of password policies and rotation in a single place. For more details on Azure AD authentication for MySQL flexible server, do check out our announcement blogs and Microsoft Docs. Try out the feature today and let us know of your feedback. Cheers.